In the year 2004, a thrilling tale unfolded. The day after tomorrow, this cinematic masterpiece plunged us into a world of catastrophic climate events, where survival became the ultimate game. As we journey through this narrative, we're introduced to our protagonist, Jack Hall. He's not your typical hero, he's a paleoclimatologist, a scientist who studies the climates of the past to predict the future. But Jack's future is anything but predictable. His world is on the brink of disaster, his son Sam in the eye of the storm, and so begins a race against time, a desperate fight that goes beyond the confines of a father's love. Jack must not only save his son, but also the world from an impending climate catastrophe. As we delve into this gripping narrative, we find our protagonist Jack Hall racing against time to save his son Sam and the world from the impending disaster. The story begins with Jack Hall presenting his research at a climate conference, warning of an imminent ice age triggered by human-induced climate change. Jack, our brave paleoclimatologist, stands at the forefront, armed with knowledge and conviction, painting a chilling picture of a world teetering on the edge of a climatic abyss. His warnings of a future where our cities would be swallowed by the sea and our landscapes frozen in time fall on deaf ears. The room is filled with skepticism, doubt and disbelief. But as Jack steps down from the podium, the seeds of his predictions have been sown. The world outside the conference room starts to change, slowly at first, then all at once. Unusual weather patterns emerge, storms stir and the earth trembles. The reality of Jack's warnings begins to take shape. Initially met with skepticism, Jack's predictions quickly become a reality as extreme weather events start to unfold. The audience witnesses a series of jaw-dropping scenes, colossal tornadoes ripping through Los Angeles, massive hailstorms and tsunamis submerging coastal cities. As we delve into the depths of this global chaos, the sheer magnitude of these disastrous weather events is nothing short of breathtaking. Giant twisters like monstrous serpents carve their path of destruction through the city of angels. Hailstones as big as softballs plummet from the sky, turning streets into perilous battlegrounds. And tsunamis, those formidable walls of water, rise high above the horizon, swallowing coastal cities in their unforgiving embrace. This is not a tale spun by imaginative minds. This is the world of the day after tomorrow, a world where humanity's hubris has awakened nature's wrath. Every corner of the globe is in turmoil, from the skyscrapers of Los Angeles to the ancient streets of Kyoto, no place is spared from nature's fury. The world is in chaos and humanity is on the brink of collapse. Cut to Jack Hall embarking on a perilous journey to rescue his son Sam, who is stranded in New York City. Amid the freezing temperatures and total chaos, Jack's determination stands unshaken, his resolve as solid as the ice engulfing the world. His mission? To reach his son, no matter the cost. As Jack ventures into the storm-ravaged landscape, he comes across a diverse group of survivors. Each one is a story unto themselves, each one a testament to the strength and resilience of the human spirit. First, we have Laura Chapman, a physician who is as tough as nails. Her pragmatic approach and quick thinking prove invaluable in the face of the dire circumstances they face. She shows us that even in the midst of disaster, the healer's instinct to save lives never wavers. Then there's Frank Harris, a librarian whose resourcefulness and knowledge become their guiding light in the darkness. Frank demonstrates that in times of uncertainty, wisdom and intellect can be our most potent weapons. Together they form an unlikely alliance, a band of survivors united by a common goal. Their journey is fraught with dangers, from the biting cold and treacherous terrain to the threat of wildlife turned hostile in the frozen wilderness. But it's not just the external threats they must face. They also grapple with their own fears and doubts, their personal demons that threaten to undermine their unity and resolve. There's the constant struggle to maintain hope, to keep the flame of survival burning bright, even as the world around them descends into a frigid nightmare. Yet they push forward, each step a testament to their strength, each breath a defiance against the icy grip of despair. Their journey is a mirror to our own struggles, a reminder that even in the face of overwhelming odds, we have the power to persevere, to survive, and to triumph. Along the way, Jack encounters a diverse group of survivors, each with their own struggles and stories. Their journey becomes a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, a beacon of hope in a world on the brink of a new ice age. As the group reaches New York City, they are met with a breathtaking sight, 
the city frozen in an icy wasteland. This chilling spectacle was once a city that never slept, now lays dormant under a blanket of ice. The towering skyscrapers, once gleaming with life and light, are now mere icicles in a frosty panorama. The group stands in awe, their breaths visibly hanging in the frigid air. The icy silence is broken only by the crunch of snow under their boots, a stark contrast to the city's usual symphony of sounds. Their journey has led them to this moment, to this icy monument of Mother Nature's fury. They gaze upon the frozen Hudson River, the once busy waterway, now a desolate stretch of white. The Statue of Liberty, a symbol of freedom and hope, stands tall amidst the icy desolation, a silent sentinel in this new ice age. The once bustling metropolis now stands as a haunting reminder of the power of nature unleashed. Jack learns that Sam has taken refuge in the New York Public Library, a beacon of hope amidst the frozen desolation. The journey to the library is fraught with peril, a race against time and the elements. The once familiar streets of New York are now a treacherous maze of ice and snow, a chilling testament to the power of nature. Every step is a struggle, each breath a battle. The cold is a relentless enemy, seeping into their bones, threatening to freeze their resolve. But the group presses on, driven by a potent blend of desperation and determination. The stakes are high, the margin for error razor thin. In this icy wilderness, the group faces an unexpected adversary, a pack of hungry wolves driven into the city by the harsh weather. The once distant threat of nature has become up close and personal, adding another layer of danger to their already perilous journey. The wolves are relentless, their pursuit echoing the group's own race against time. With each passing moment, the library looms closer, a beacon of hope in a world turned upside down, but reaching it is only half the battle. Inside, the cold is just as relentless, the silence just as chilling. The library, once a sanctuary of knowledge and learning, now stands as a fortress against the cold, a crucial line of defense in their fight for survival. Survival is a constant struggle, a battle against not only the elements, but also against time. With each passing second, the threat of hypothermia grows, adding a sense of urgency to their every move. They must keep moving, keep fighting, keep surviving. The team faces numerous challenges, including frostbite, hungry wolves, and the constant threat of hypothermia. But in this race against time, they remain determined. Their will to survive as strong as the biting cold around them. In this world turned upside down, they find strength in each other, in their shared struggle, and in their shared hope. The climax builds as Jack and his team reach the library, reuniting with Sam. Their joy is short-lived. The once hallowed halls of knowledge are now a chilling death trap. The library, thought to be a sanctuary, is anything but safe. The biting cold seeps into every corner, every crevice, threatening to snuff out their lives as easily as it would a small flame. Their fight for survival intensifies. Every breath becomes a testament to their resilience, every heartbeat a rebellion against the icy grip of death. They huddle together, their bodies a fortress against the cold, their spirits unyielding. But the survivors have weathered the storm, both literal and figurative. Their journey has been fraught with danger and uncertainty, but they've emerged stronger, more unified. The warmth they generate becomes a symbol of humanity's resilience and adaptability. As the storm finally subsides, the world begins to heal. From the ashes of a frozen apocalypse, survivors emerge, wearied yet resilient. The icy grip of the new ice age begins to loosen, giving way to the slow but sure bloom of life anew. The survivors, though scarred, are not defeated. They carry the lessons of their ordeal with them, a testament to their fortitude, their adaptability, their will to endure. This tale of survival against all odds, the day after tomorrow, is not merely a story of a climatic catastrophe, it is a stark reminder, a cautionary tale of the profound impact our actions can have on our environment. It underscores the need for responsible stewardship of our planet, for the choices we make today will shape the world of tomorrow. In the face of calamity, the human spirit endures, proving that we can overcome even the most insurmountable challenges. The day after tomorrow leaves us with a powerful message about the consequences of our actions on the environment and the strength of the human spirit to overcome even the most insurmountable challenges.